My name is Connor Drake. While I was standing on the porch, I saw what appeared to be a cat-like animal in the woods. I walked off my porch to see if I could get a better look, but the animal ran off. There have been multiple sightings of the cat over the years. Many happened right here in Mansfield, Ohio. The cat continues to elude people even till this day. On this episode of Monster Quest, we will go in search of the cat. Witnesses around the world report seeing monsters. Are they real or imaginary? Science searches for answers. On Monster Quest. My name is Kevin Stackmaster. I was sitting in my living room when my dog began barking her head off. I jumped up and ran to the window. I was shocked to see a large black mo animal moving across my lawn. <laughs> Our highly trained team of scientists will follow the trail of the cat in hopes of finding this legendary creature. Hi, my name is Nick, and I am very excited to be one of the scientists in search of such a rare creature. Hi, my name is Bob. My dad used to tell me stories when he was a boy about a big black cat. <laughs> I'm so excited to be looking for this cat in the woods. Hi, uh, my name is Corbin, and I believe there are no mythical cats in this forest, <coughs> so we'll see if these rumors are true. My name is Eli Thrasher. I went outside to go get my mail, and I stumbled upon what appeared to be large scratch marks at the base of my mailbox. I still wonder to this day what kind of animal could make a mark like that. The scientists will be heading deep into the forest in search of the cat. Uh. I feel we're wasting our time looking for this creature or cat. It appears our team of scientists is on the right track to finding the cat. In this diagram, you can see the evolution of the cat. You will notice that cats have evolved a lot. We confer that these tracks were made by large felines because of the sheer size of the tracks. And if you notice, here the claws are too small to be made by a canine. These tracks are inconclusive. They could be made by any animal. There's not just any animal, but a mythical legendary beast called the cat. Poppycock! I don't know. These tracks do fit the description of the cat's claws. Now we're relying on the witnesses' descriptions of theories? I happen to feel that the witnesses' descriptions are the best thing to go on at this point. Who are you, Dr. Doolittle? Maybe I am. Well, with that said, <laughs> I think we're going to speak to Michael Brady. Head on, apply directly to the head. Head on, apply directly to the head. Head on, apply directly to the head. Alright, gentlemen, let's stop this nonsense and continue our search for the cat. Wow, I can't believe I just witnessed that. I guess my dad was right. There is a mythical creature out there that needs to be discovered. Well, I guess I have to admit that there is a mythical creature out there. I can only describe it in one word. Cat. 
On the next episode of Monster Quest, we will go in search of a dog. Yeah. Arr, arr. Ah. <laughs> Who are you, Dr. Doolittle? Maybe I am, son. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nick. I mean, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>